When you Google best seafood on the big island of Hawaii, the top recommendation is a TripAdvisor link titled the 10 best seafood restaurants in the island of Hawaii. This top 10 traveler's choice list from TripAdvisor is curated based on reviews and opinions from travelers worldwide. It's something I'm eager to experience myself. Hello fellow travelers, in this video I'll showcase the creme de la creme of seafood dining as voted by travelers. To keep things concise, I'll highlight only 5 of the top 10 from TripAdvisor. I will mention my least favorite and end it with my top pick. Without further ado, let's dive in. For my fifth spot, I want to introduce you to Omeka's Fish Market Bar and Grill, a cozy and casual place with an island vibe at Pawai Place in Kailua Kona. This restaurant is the fourth recommended on TripAdvisor, but my least favorite. The restaurant has both indoor and outdoor seating as well as a bar area. You can also buy some souvenirs and memorabilia at the reception desk. The menu offers a range of seafood dishes and some vegetarian, meat, and chicken options. The prices are reasonable, but not cheap. I decided to try one of their specialties, the sweet and sour tempura ahi belly, which sounded tasty and intriguing. At the same time, my wife ordered the omekes ahi fish tacos. The dish had two scoops of white rice, diced tomatoes on the side, and the sauce. The dish looked appetizing with two thick slices of ahi tuna coated in crispy butter. I sliced the tuna and heard the crunch of the butter. I dipped the peas in the sauce and tasted it. It was tender and fresh, as expected from Hawaii seafood. However, the tuna was bland. It lacked the sweet and sour flavor that I was hoping for. I tried adding more sauce to the tuna, but it didn't make much difference. I was so disappointed with the dish so I reached for the soy sauce on the table and poured some over the tuna. It drastically improved the taste. I am Asian, so naturally, I love salty food. But it was not the dish I wanted. My wife shared his taco with me, which tasted better than my dish. It was a taco with an island twist. It had tempura ahi tuna topped with fried onions, pineapple lo mi salsa, pickled slaw, and avocado in a flour tortilla. The pineapple lomi salsa gave the taco a tropical touch. I bite into the taco and felt a burst of flavors in my mouth. It was crunchy, sweet, spicy, filling, and satisfying. Delicious! But since the dish I ordered was a letdown, this was my least favorite of the five. Jackie Ray's is my fourth recommendation. It is ranked number 7 on the TripAdvisor list. The restaurant has a stunning location overlooking Kailua Bay. I suggest you dine before sunset to enjoy the stunning Hawaii's sunset. You should also make a reservation in advance, as the place can get busy, but walk-ins are also welcome. The restaurant has a casual ambience, but some diners like to dress up for the occasion. I started with the maknut ahi tartar which was a delicious appetizer. It had fresh ahi tuna mixed with toasted macadamia nuts and wonton chips. The wasabi aioli sauce was the highlight of the dish. It was creamy, sweet, and spicy. The dish was colorful and flavorful, and I loved every bite. For my main course, I tried the intriguing mochiko crusted fresh catch with Molokai purple mashed potatoes. The dish was beautifully presented with two pieces of kanpachi fish on top of a mound of purple sweet potatoes and two sauces on the side. The fish was cooked perfectly with a mild and sweet taste. The sauce added some savory and spicy notes to the dish, and the sweet potato added some texture and sweetness. It was a surprising and satisfying combination. I never thought fish and sweet potato can go well together. It was a unique and delightful dish. You got to try this dish if you dine at Jackie Ray's. Next, let's visit Ulu Ocean Grill. Ulu is third on the TripAdvisor list, but this is my top pick if the cost is not an issue. 
But dining here is way too expensive. Ulu is part of the Four Seasons Resorts and it has a gorgeous atmosphere right next to the beach. I started with the ahi poke as an appetizer. What I loved about this dish was how the server prepared it before us. Mixing the poke ingredients and ensuring the freshest taste. It was served with sweet potato chips on the side. The poke had a wonderful limo flavor, just like those at the classic Hawaiian poke shop. I like my poke simple and traditional. And I didn't think the chips or the avocado added much to the raw fish. The poke was delicious on its own. For my main course, I chose the daily catch, which was the grilled opa that night. It was beautifully plated with eggplant, kale, and microgreens. Opa is also known as moonfish, and I've been a fan of it since I had it on a cruise in French Polynesia. When I saw it on the menu, I had to order it. The presentation was stunning. It looked heavenly. The fish was layered with kale and eggplant at the bottom, and microgreens on top. The sauce was the star of the dish, making it an amazing gastronomic experience. The only drawback was that the serving was smaller than I expected. The meat was so tender that my fork cut through it effortlessly, and the first bite was a burst of flavor in my mouth. It was sweet, buttery oh, so sensation. Delicious. With fried rice as a side, it was the best part of my food adventure. My second best seafood restaurant is Fish Hopper Seafood and Steak, which is number 5 on the trip advisor list. But this restaurant deserves a higher rank, and you will see why after watching. The restaurant is on the historic Ali'i Drive, overlooking the Kailua Bay. You can enjoy the ocean view and hear the waves from the restaurant. Our friend Francis, who lives on the island, joined us for this dinner. We ordered the Ono Ceviche with tortilla chips as our appetizer. It was a refreshing and tangy dish with diced ono fish marinated in lime juice with tomatoes, avocado slices, and seaweeds. It had a mix of Hawaiian and Mexican-inspired flavors. The avocado and the chips added crunchiness and creaminess to the dish. The chips were soft and easy to chew, unlike some hard ones. It was an excellent appetizer for $22 before tax and enough for three people. For my main course, I ordered the blackened opakapaka or pink snapper. It is a delicious and delicate fish with a sweet flavor. It is one of Hawaii's premium snappers. The dish looked amazing with a fish on top of rice and sauteed vegetables and topped with tomato relish and sauteed spinach. It also had some microgreens and lemon black sauce on the side. The fish was charred and flaky and the blackening spices give it a smoky and savory touch. The sauce gave it a rich and smooth contrast. The dish was sweet and spicy but not too spicy. It was a perfect balance of flavors and textures. The reason why this is my second best seafood restaurant is that every dish here is delicious. I tasted my wife's mong chong fish and Francis' salmon dish. Both had different flavors and they tasted amazing. This brings me to my number one recommendation, which holds the top spot on TripAdvisor lists as well. It's a clear choice for the best seafood restaurant on the island, thanks to its beloved fresh seafood, delectable dishes, and not to be overlooked, more budget-friendly prices than the four featured restaurants. The That's menu great. has only one dish priced over $20. Everything else falls below $20. Located on Henry Street near Walmart within a modest strip mall, Kanoa Grill might not boast an extravagant facade, but don't let appearances deceive you. The food here is exceptional. The restaurant presents an array of plate lunches, an assortment of burgers including a tempting fish burger, various poke options, and Hawaiian-inspired flavored cheesecakes and pies. On my recent visit, I opted for the panko crusted ahi tuna fish burger with veggies, chips, and a brioche bun. Initially, I thought the fish looked slightly overcooked, but my first bite proved otherwise. I added the wasabi aioli sauce before indulging, and the ahi tuna proved tender and juicy and had a smoky flavor. 
The sauce added a tangy and spicy kick, enhancing the overall taste. I really love the strong smoky flavor of the fish. I also tried their dried poke, which resembled like a beef jerky, which was garlicky and spicy. This is a good snack during island exploration. So there you have it, 5 seafood restaurants approved by travelers on the island of Hawaii. If you're interested in discovering my top 5 fine dining destinations on the island, click on the thumbnail. I hope you find this video informative. Until next time fellow travelers, bye for now.